Good morning, Logan High School, and welcome to TV2, The Chieftain Report. I'm Nicholas Kudlapur. And I'm Jasper Jones. Say, Jasper, April is really winding down. And May brings new presents, such as sniffles, sneezes, and scratchy eyes. Isn't that the truth? Today on the show, we have a prom short and a special segment of Keel's Tips. But, but before you can reach for that box of tissues, here's your announcements. As you probably know, Logan High School is hosting a blood drive on May 17th. If you're at least 16 years old, then please consider donating. Everybody's help is needed. To schedule an appointment, see or email Skylar Champ, Kaylee Walker, or myself. If you are already on the schedule, then I want to thank you very much. The intense run of the AP test began on Monday with the AP Chemistry and the AP Environmental Science test. There's no need to be worried. All you can do is study, relax, sleep, and do your best. It's time to get joggy for a doggy. The Senior Biomed class and Middle School Running Club are sponsoring the Jog for a Dog 5K on May 20th. Pre-registration has already begun with the price of $20 for adults and $10 for students. That pre-registration cost includes a t-shirt. If you're interested, you can pick up forms in the athletic office. Now keep in mind, Running won't be the only attraction. Many dogs from our local shelter will be available for adoption, too. ACT, a haunting word that shakes the bones of any junior. ACT practice sessions will be starting on Tuesday on May, on May 9th through the 23rd if anyone is in need for help on the tests. In national news, scientists have created an artificial womb that can help prematurely born babies develop. Now, the system, which consists of a clear plastic bag and a synthetic amniotic fluid, hasn't actually been tested with human fetuses yet, but it has been very successful with lambs, animals that have proven to be good models for human fetal development in the past. Many scientists are regarding this creation as a major breakthrough. Ideally, this technology can be used to save thousands of babies that die from premature births every year. However, the technology also raises many far-reaching ethical concerns about raising babies outside of humans and potentially exposing fetuses to great stress and discomfort. It is an intriguing debate, and it will be interesting to see how much further this technology advances. Crews in the Columbia gas transmission are out working hard to install miles of gas pipes. They have already spent $1.5 billion in this project. It is about 160 miles of pipe already. This is really exciting for most people. Now here is Sydney Lingrak with the Chieftain Weather. There's a storm a brewing. Right there. Welcome Logan High School. It is that time of the week once again. Unfortunately, I do not come with good news although that is only a matter of opinion. The forecast for the last few days of April will most likely consist of plenty of rain and storms. The record high of April 28th is 89, set back in 1990, with a record low of 25, set back in 1946. Today, we will be seeing some sun, yet scattered thunderstorms will be developing as the day goes on. The high will be 75 with a low of 62. Now, here's the rest of your five-day forecast. Saturday calls for a high chance of rain showers throughout the day. The high will be 76 with a low of 62. On Sunday, the high will be a remarkable 84 with a low of 61. During the morning hours, scattered thunderstorms will be taking place, leading to partly cloudy skies in the afternoon. Temperatures will drop on Monday as the high will be 64 with a low of 48. Rain showers will occur in the AM hours with overcast skies later on in the day. Finishing the forecast for this week, Tuesday will be a pleasant day with sunshine and mixed clouds. The high will be 69 with a low of 46. That's a wrap for this week, LHS. As always, have a great weekend. Sydney Lingrak, TV2 Weather. Here's some tips with Gavin Keels. What side of the hall do you walk on? The left. 
Wrong. Dumb. The right. Correct. Smart. <laughs> Here's a look back at last week's prom. Hello everybody, I am Nicholas Gudlapur, and today I'm here at Logan's 2017 prom. There are many phenomenal dresses and tuxedos, and I thought I'd ask around to see how people's prom going experience has gone so far. I'm here with Kelby, the Kelby, and Dana. <clears throat> Tell me, guys, is this your first prom? It is indeed. Yeah, nope. Indeed. Or, no, it's her sec Never mind. second. <laughs> second, first. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anything in particular you're looking forward to about tonight? The music. Uh, I like to dance, so. Yeah. Kelby's a dancer. Okay. <laughs> So what inspired the pink color scheme? Um, that's my favorite color, and it's sparkly. Nice. So <laughs> sparkly, is that like, is there uh, like a certain significance to the sparkles here? or just? It's, just it's a reminder to always stay uh, sparkly and happy on the inside, oh. as well as on the outside. Oh man, that's deep. Very deep. How long did it take you guys to prepare? Okay. Uh, I guess, yeah, we started planning what we were going to do last night, so uh, <laughs> kind of started going quick. But uh, yeah, um, we got everything together and now we're here. We're ready to have right. fun. 24 ready. hours to prepare. 24 yeah. hours to prepare. <laughs> right. How long did it take you guys to uh, prepare? Um, I got up at 9 o'clock this morning and I didn't stop getting ready until like 5.15. <laughs> so, uh, about five minutes. <laughs> okay, so about equal length. <laughs> what are you looking forward to here, Dylan? Probably the same thing. <laughs> Seeing lots of fancy people dressed up in fancy yeah. outfits. Same. That's the same for me. Thank you. What are you guys looking forward to? Um, crossing Chadwell up at Open Gym next weekend. Having a good time at the dance. There we go. <laughs> Tell me, after all these years, how does it feel to see Josh grow up and go to prom? Oh, it's been so touching today. I, got I can't you, tell I got you. Tears. A lot of the kids that I've known since kindergarten. Thank you. Um, is this your first prom? Both yes. Of you? Yeah, this is actually my third prom. David's third prom. Okay, so experience here. Yes. Uh, well, if you weren't old enough to go to prom this year, don't worry, in a couple years, or maybe a year, you will be. Um, until next time, I'm Nicholas Kudpour. Now back to the desk. Here's Landon Little and Lexus Fickle with your sports. Good afternoon, Cheap and Sports fans. We have a busy schedule ahead of us. Now let's get to it. The Chieftain baseball team hosted the Jackson Ironman Wednesday night. The Chiefs were looking to make it two straight victories against the Ironman this season after losing the first game between the two. Sophomore Jacob Klein started off, the, uh, started off pitching for the Chiefs and did a solid job not letting the Ironman get on the scoreboard. The game was 1-0 for almost the entire game and the lone scorer for the Chiefs was junior Simon Rooker. The Chieftains kept this game under control, and a lot of that was help from Gage Sissick, who threw, was throwing strike after strike late in this game. The Chiefs outlast Ironman and win this one, one to nothing. The Lady Chiefs softball team played the Jackson Iron Ladies last Wednesday, April 26. The Lady Chiefs took a 2-0 lead at the bottom of the first before the Iron Ladies scored three fifth-inning runs to overcome the deficit, beating the Ch Chiefs 5-4. The Lady Chiefs take on visiting Alexander tonight. The tennis team hosted Taze Valley Wednesday night. Nicholas Kudlapur won at first singles, and Justin Vogt won a tight second tiebreak in singles as well. Both doubles teams won in three sets. 
They travel to Athens tonight for an SEOAL matchup. The boys and girls track team competed at the Westerville South Invitational last Friday, April 21st. Corey Henthorn won shot put being Logan's lone individual winner. The boys team finished fifth and the girls sixth. Both teams compete at Thomas Worthington tomorrow. Well, that's all the sports we have for you guys this week. I'm Landon Little. And I'm Lexis Fickle. And that is all for our April 28th show. We hope to see you next month. I'm Nicholas Foodlepore. And I'm Jasper Jones from TV2. The, the Deuce. Deuce. ACT hunting season. Corey Henthorne won shot put, being Logan's lone inv 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 in inv individual. Oh. <laughs> 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 okay. Individual. Okay. Three.